talk to you children a little bit what's on my heart. And Grandpa and Grandma have a great concern for all of you people. We're not going to be here very long anymore, we don't think. But I want you to know what we consider important in life, and we want you to, to take the road that leads you from here into heaven. Now, when, I, when we were in Kansas, and I was pastor there, I'm, I had some, I didn't have any farm work or anything like that, and so my, my time off, I would go in, down in my basement in my shop and make different things. And these are some of the things that I made. I want to show them to you. This, this is a, a bud vase. Take a flower and put it in there, it's a bud vase. I gave many of my, of your grandparents one of these. And I'm sorry that I don't have enough to give all you children a gift today. But then I also made these little rocking chairs. And I made this little chair. It's very interesting. I saw a little chair at a sale and uh, Jake Rule, who would be Aunt Deneen's grandpa, he was the auctioneer and I wanted to make one of these so I bought the chair that, he, that they were auctioning off. Paid seven dollars for it and went home then and made a number of these. Okay. I have the chair. You like a chair? I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you about this thing. This is called, this, I hope you, am I have my back toward too many people there? Well, let me stand on this side. Maybe this will do better. Should we pull this out a little bit? Well, that's okay. This is called a tumbling ra uh, rabbit. Okay, now where, oh, can anybody tell me what this toy is? This is a very interesting little toy. Just, can you see what it does? Well, he gets stuck sometimes. Can you tell me what it's called? No. What is it supposed to do? Just, just goes oh. back and forth. It just goes back and forth in those screws. That's all it does. It's called a do-nothing toy. <laughs> <laughs> do nothing. Everybody in Washington has one. Well, now I'm coming to, how many twins do we have here this morning? Raise your hand. How many twins? I think in all, I think we have eight. So what did I do? I decided I would bring twin woodpeckers here today.
but I brought another little woodpecker and I want Mason to come up here and, and start that one for us. He likes to play with that when he comes to our place. That's fine, that's fine. You did a good job there. Thank you. Pardon? <laughs> now watch that little fella. Watch what he does. He's very exact what he's doing. He doesn't hurry, he just keeps on going. He circles around the pool. He's looking for worms and bugs that he can eat. Just look how he goes there. There he's going around. Now I have a question for you. Which one of these things do you think Grandpa prizes the most? Tell me. Tell me. What? I, I, you have to talk a little louder. The rocking chair. The rocking chair. How about someone else? Is that because you think old people sit on rockers? <laughs> well, that, that, is, that isn't quite right, is it? It's nice, but that isn't what I prize the most here. Yeah. What? What did he say? Uh, no, no, it's not that. All right. What? Which one? The No. <laughs> yes. The wooden The one. Uh, what do you say? Oh, oh, the do not, the do nothing toy. No, no, Grandpa doesn't like to do nothing. He likes to do stuff. All right. Oh. My goodness, you picked every one except the right one. What did you let out? Which one did you miss? That's right, the single woodpecker. That is, cons that I consider the one I like the most. That would be the last one I'd want to give up. Now, what do you think about someone who has created, made everything? In fact, if that person wouldn't have made the things that he did, I wouldn't have had this stuff to work with. Who was that? Can you tell me? God, that's right. And, what, and when God made things and he made everything, the Bible says, let me read it to you. All things were created by him and for him, and not anything was made that was made. So he created everything. The things we can see, the things we can't see, the things that astronomers like Uncle Dave uh, Bradstreet has to look through to see more of God, what God's creation has, what God has made for people. But in all of the things that he made, he said it was, very, it was good. But when he created man and woman, Adam and Eve, do you know what he said about that? Some of you older folks, help him out. It was very good. So, what is God's prized possession that he created? It's man, man, man and woman. Uh, Here's a little side sidetrack for the older people. We men have to remember that God made us out of dust, but the women he made out of bone. <laughs> All right. So we are we are God's prize. The Bible says we are God's the apple of God's eye. He looks at us and he is so tickled that he that he, he made mankind but something happened that made him very sad. He also created angels, and he created one angel that was very beautiful, and that man, or that angel, decided he wanted to be like God, and he said, I'm going to be like the Most High. And what he did, he bragged himself up to the point where he was going to take over what God was doing, and God wasn't pleased with that. 
So God cast him out of heaven, the Bible says. And when he cast him out, it made the devil, Lucifer, so angry that he decided he's going to ruin everything he can that God has created and that God desires and that Jesus is willing to stand by and help. So, in doing that, he injected into man and woman all that were born after Adam and Eve, a spirit that wants to do evil. Now, did you ever get a, a slip of paper from your parents in the morning when you got up, you had breakfast, and you were going to start your day, and they handed you a slip of paper and said, now I want you to do what's on this paper. It's a paper that tells you the things you need to do to be bad today. Did you ever get a paper like that? Do you know why you don't get a paper like that? Because the devil has put it in your heart. You want it, you, you're tempted to do bad. So we need to be taught to do right. And <coughs> so God said to, to uh, Jesus, his son, son, we have to do something about this. We can't let the devil take these dear people, the prize of my creation from us. So Jesus came and lived here for a while and then was crucified. And when he died, he took our bad nature, that nature that wants us to do evil. He took that and nailed it to the cross. And if we believe in Jesus and trust Jesus and ask Jesus to forgive us of our bad things, then he cleanses our hearts. And we say, Jesus, come into my life and make me a good person again. And he does. And the Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms or many mansions. I, will, <clears throat> I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, and Jesus is doing that, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And then... He also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but my, by me. He provided a path, a road from heaven up to, to, from earth up to heaven so that we can travel with Jesus. And if we misstep and step off of the path, he is there to forgive us if we're willing to say, Jesus, I did bad things and I'm very sorry. I want you to forgive me. Will you wash my, my heart white again? And he will do that and bring us back on the, on the path that leads us to heaven. And my desire and grandma's desire is that all of you children, and we know that some of you have gotten on the right path. And when the Spirit speaks to the rest of you, we pray that you will say yes to Jesus and Jesus will walk with you and direct you in the way you need to go that you can step over into heaven. Dear Lord, we're thankful and grateful for all you've done for us. We're thankful for being our Savior, our Lord, and the one who has mercy on us when we do bad. You're willing to forgive us and cleanse us from all sin. So I pray that you will help us, each one, to live a life that will please you and honor you, and that we will eventually be with you in your eternal home in heaven is what we ask in your name. Amen. <laughs>